Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the Swift Basic series and in this part we're going to be looking at conditional statements. Conditional statements basically allow a block of code to be run if a certain condition is met. Conditional statements are one of the core foundations that many, pretty much all applications are built upon, especially games if you've ever made games in any capacity, even if it's using some sort of visual editor, you'll know that being able to check for conditions is essential or even in general applications checking data for example so let's just go ahead and open up our project what we're going to do is just get rid of this second we're going to create a variable called i we're going to initialize it to the value 7 and then to do a basic conditional statement you do if bracket bracket brackets are necessary here but we recommend them as they do help maintain code and the general read readability but again many languages do need it like C++ and C but you can get rid of them and just put the condition without it but we prefer brackets and then in here you put the condition so we're just going to put i double equals 9 the double equals it basically is a check a comparison operator whereas the single equals is the assignment operator so you don't want to get mixed up with it because you'll have well, well you'll have issues basically so we just do it does i equal 9 and if I do print ln and if I do i is 9 if I run this nothing pops up simply because i is at 9 but if I change this to 9 I run it I is actually 9 which is great the next step uh, for a conditional statement is if else if so you can do else if this just basically allows you to perform another check if the first check isn't true so this will only get performed if the first isn't true so you can very could do multiple yes but they will all get checked and you may not want that so else if I equals equals 8 so if I do print and then I is 8 I run this and it just says I is 9 but if I change this to 8 and run it, it says I is 8 it doesn't say I is 9 anymore because I isn't 9 and the final part of a conditional statement is the else statement that you can add and this does allow you to run another block of code if none of the conditions are true so if I do print L and I'm going to do I is invalid and I'm just going to change, I'll run this first so it does I is 8, if I do I is 7 and run it First it checks, does i equal 9? Nope. Does i equal 8? Nope. Then it goes to the else, basically none of the conditions are true. You don't actually need an else if to add the else, so you can have it like this. You can have multiple else ifs. Uh, you, or you can add it like this. With this if else. Or you can just have a if statement. One thing to bear in mind, you can't have multiple else within one single conditional section statement. And that's it for this tutorial. That's what conditional statements are. They are extremely powerful. Obviously, you, you can put conditional statements within conditional statements as well, which is pretty cool. Like I said, brackets aren't necessary. So if I were to get rid of these and change this to 9 now and run it, does i equals 9. But we just prefer the readability that brackets provide. So it's up to you. In the next tutorial we're going to look at the for loop. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day.